Okay, so continuing along with the science comments on the paper, The Uninhabited Earth, um, as the paper points out that the UN IPCC projections are for four degrees of warming by the beginning of next century, that's four degrees Celsius, that's a median projection. Okay, so this is based on median projections, not extreme not worst case, as, as many of the scientists are pointing out. The high probability, on the probability curve, the upper end is 8 degrees. Okay, that's the um, worst case type scenarios. And those scenarios are, will not be conducive to people being uh, on this planet, really, in any large quantities of, of numbers, or plants, animals, everything. Okay, so let's have a look at the comment that was made. The most recent one projects us to hit four degrees by the beginning of the next century. That's for the RCP 8.5 scenario. Okay, and he's saying it's less likely. I thought this was for the worst case scenario, which is the eight degree scenario. Okay, the RCP 2.5 is the best. And that one requires geoengineering. That one assumes that bioenergy with carbon capture and storage is performed, you know, on vast amounts of land, which we don't have, negative emissions. Okay, so um, this needs to be checked, this, this comment. Okay, here we go. There's a couple comments here. The IPCC report, don't fully account for the albedo effect. Sorry, I can't read it now. Let's come back to these comments in a minute. Okay, they don't account for the albedo. The, the IPCC reports don't fully account for the Arctic warming. They don't fully account for the methane release. Um, they don't account for loss of carb, all these losses, diebacks of forests. Okay, um, all these things are happening much faster than the models. Okay, these are, these are very conservative models. So. Everything's moving much faster. Everything is shifting much faster. The history of the planet shows that temperature can shift as much as 5 degrees Celsius within 13 years. Think about that. Okay, so let's look at the comments. Um, don't fully account for the albedo. I'm not sure what the author means here. Well, I think, uh, you know, I think it's pretty clear what the author means. The reports. Um, they don't account for all of the changes that are happening because the things are happening much faster than expected. So how could they be accounted for properly? Okay, um, let's go down to the other comment here. Uh, I don't know what time period the author is referring to here. When it, the last time the planet was four degrees warmer. Okay, but during the last interglacial, Earth was two degrees warmer, sea levels were five to six meters. Okay, so he's... Okay, so, you know, this is, uh, you know, uh, like, like, yeah, when, when, when a comment is made, you know, that's a valid point. I mean, when it says the last time the planet was four degrees warmer, you know, so you'd have to go to this references and look at the uh, history and so on. But, you know, the date, you know, it should have added, you know, what, what time period, like, you know, uh, how many interglacials ago, because, uh, you know, this guy says it was only two degrees warmer in the previous interglacial, so. Okay, but I mean, that's, that's fine. Um, five mass extinctions, the most notorious was 250 two million years ago, okay, the Permian extinction. Okay, uh, so are there comments on that? I thought it was, you know, ended with 97% of all life on Earth was dead. You know, we're currently adding carbon to the atmosphere at a faster rate. You know, notice none of these scientists is disagreeing or, uh, with this. So just think about the implications of this. You know, isn't this a horrifying scenario? You know, think, what, what are we doing to this planet? You know, meanwhile, let's criticize a couple of small details and say, and give the art, overall article uh, a low rating so that we don't worry the public. I mean, come on. 
it's absurd. This this uh, this analysis is absurd. Isn't this one of the most important points? Why aren't we talking about this 252 million years ago? Yeah. Um, the end Permian, you know, the, yes, it's controversial. Was it big volcanoes? Was it sulfides, hydrogen sulfide in the ocean? You know, read uh, When Earth Nearly Died. Re read the textbook and then you can come back and answer this. Uh, you know, I mean, we think most of these extinctions were from climate change. Okay. The way these events are referred to without any specific, specif specificity, whatever, makes it, <laughs> makes it impossible even for a geologist like myself to know what the author refers to. I'm not sure, I mean, 252 million years ago, that's the most famous uh, extinction, so um, I'm not sure what, uh, you know, I thought what that comment is getting at. Um, Okay, uh, Stephen Hawking was talking about the species need to colonize other planets to survive, but the many sober-minded scientists I interviewed, most of them, so he's talking about, talking about the general view of scientists that he interviewed, and most of them are, um, most of them, few of them are inclined, <sighs> Okay, let's go, go back. The most few of them are in, inclined to alarmism and many advisors to the IPCC. They nevertheless criticize the, cons, the conservative nature of the IPCC and they've quietly reached an apocalyptic conclusion too. No plausible program of emissions reductions alone can prevent climate disaster. In other words, Slashing fossil fuel emissions is not, is not sufficient to prevent climate disaster. It has to be done. It's one component. The IPCC says we also have to remove carbon from the atmosphere with bioenergy, carbon capture, and storage backs. And we don't have practical ways of doing that, and it would take vast amounts of land. So for them to jump and say on one particular way it seems a bit absurd and this is very mis this is not an understood fact even in lots of the science co scientific uh, climate community and also in the certainly not in the general public okay so a couple of the comments here um, okay Again, this implies that all the scientists agree with the content of the article, and it does not, come on. I mean, getting 16 scientists to agree with everything that's in an article, you'd never have an article written. It would be like a paragraph, that would be it. Apart from that paragraph, then, then everybody would disagree on stuff. Um, I would be highly surprised about this, and you know, what's he supposed to do? Talk about all of these scientists that he had beers with that were saying, oh, we're completely screwed, that's it, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know, I mean, it's, it's private conversations. Okay, so the term Anthropocene has popped out. Let's just talk about the points. Um, what's the comment here? The climate system that will now go to war with us for many centuries. Okay, and this is a point saying the climate just is, okay? To say that the climate is annoyed with us and it will go to war against us, and th those, those are just ways, you know, like science, you know, we push the climate with a stick and we've awoken an angry beast. This is what Wally Broker said. He's famous for saying this. Um, you know, this is one of the ways that people understand things and it sinks in better. You know, uh, we talk about the war against drugs. Well, what does that mean? You know, drugs, they don't kill, they're, they're not fighting us. They're not at war against us. It's, it's war. You know, these metaphors are used all the time. War against this, war against that. So, you know, this is no different here. The climate is, is going to give us grief for years. So, you know, uh... So these are just comments from people. They could be from anybody, but because they come from somebody with a degree, 
and they go in and they're all combined this is supposed to say that this article is not accurate i mean that's that's uh, that's absurd you know shame on you scientists you should know better than that to get your name you know i mean like i say this website i like this website is is good generally but th they really dropped the ball they jumped the shark on this one here so let's see some other comments moving along um Okay, so these are comments on El Salvador. One fifth of the population has chronic kidney. De de Where is my? Sorry, once again, I'm having. What is going on here? This is my computer is crapping out here. They're doing updates or something. I don't know. Sorry, the Bahraining of New York. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get something here. Okay, dehydration, working in the fields. Okay, the climate, many of the climate impacts are not about climate change alone. Poor people, they're forced to work, it's too hot. Yeah, climate change is not fair at all. Okay, the poor suffer the most, people that didn't cause the problem suffer the most. Yeah, we know that, but how is this a criticism of the paper? This is an addition, if you like. Okay, so let's go down, and uh, we're talking about within a few hours, the human body would be cooked to death from both inside and out. Okay, 105 degrees Fahrenheit, 90% humidity. Notice that nobody comments on this. What are the temperatures we're getting around large parts of the world? 120 degrees, you know, we reached 129 degrees Fahrenheit in Pakistan recently. You know, if it's near the water, a water body that will add humidity, people will be cooked inside and out. Well, there's no comment. All these scientists are saying, yes, this is absolutely right. This is a terrifying picture. All these people are dying in these countries. No, they don't, they're not a peep, no comment. So what are the comment? One, there's one comment over here. You can see how ridiculous this format is for saying that this article doesn't make sense. It's absolutely absurd. Okay, things most certainly won't get this hot. Okay, um, 11 to 12 degrees, and this is an article, I, I, I'm not, it's too large to see, but basically it goes up to 12 degrees Celsius, and if you go look at the curve, you know, the curve goes up here to the top, right, and uh, you, can, you, can, you can look at this yourself, I'm not going to, but basically, um, this person is saying that Yes, I mean, quite. he's agreeing basically to that statement about the temperature. Things certainly won't get there this century, 11 or 12 degrees of warming, okay, which half the world's population would die of direct heat, okay? I mean, these are horrifying things. Talks about wet bulb temperature. Um, okay, even if we meet the Paris goals, come on, computer, there seems to be a lag here. Now I don't even know where I am. Here we go. Even if we meet the Paris goals of <laughs> two degrees warming, these cities will be close to uninhabitable. They're annually encountering deadly heat waves like the one that crippled them in 2015. Okay. At two, four, and six degrees, what are the probabilities of each? Um, right and uh the language is dire and stuff yeah well this is for peer-reviewed papers it's not it's not for a magazine article it's talking about four degrees right in the middle there median temperature not the high-end temperature okay uh four degrees a european heat wave killed people and so on there's some comments about that you know i don't know i don't need to go well i guess we could look at them for humor or whatever Two degree, okay, four degrees, it's difficult to extrapolate. Yes, I mean, this heat wave took Europe by surprise. They didn't have air conditioning. They didn't have ways of getting old people in apartment buildings checked out and brought to air conditioned places. People were dehydrated. They didn't, so the, the fatalities were 2,000 a day. They were 70,000 people, um, 50,000 in, in France alone. 
So this was a horrendous thing, but these things are getting more common across the planet.